In this video, we will cover how to create a residential project in SolarEdge Designer. Step 1. Click on the plus sign and select Residential to start your project. Enter the site information. The tool automatically selects the closest weather station, or you can import your own hourly weather file. Now enter the customer name. Enter the customer yearly consumption and select a typical load profile that represents their usage pattern. Or upload the customer's interval consumption data file. The most common grid voltage is auto-selected for you. And click Create. Step 2. Draw the rooftop or array area. Use the Draw tool to trace the edges of the roof on top of the image. Outline the roof first. Remember, sometimes the aerial image can be taken at an angle, so always use the snapping points to help us get an accurate 2D sketch that will help us later with a 3D rendering. Now draw the internal roof edges. You can use the automatic Inner Edges tool when relevant. Add any obstacles on or off the roof with the Obstacles tool. And now let's switch to 3D mode and select a roof facet and lift the ridge line up like this to get the roof pitch. Step 3. Now we're going to place the modules. Click the PV module placement tab. We can check the irradiance map that displays the best places for maximal sun access. Select a roof facet where you intend to place the modules. You can add any setbacks for fire code like this. Here, we're going to select an edge and drag it to create a 1 meter access pathway on both sides. Define the module type. Now, you'll see based on the pitch that Designer automatically defaults to flash mount racking and portrait mode. You can change this if needed. Now, let's click on a point anywhere in the facet and drag to add the modules. So we're going to move our array a little bit and then delete a couple of modules. After placing our modules, click Entire Site. Alright, now we have 30 modules and about a 10 kilowatt array. So let's move on to step 4, Electrical Design. Designer creates a recommendation based on the site location, electricity grid voltage, sizing, DC power, and a target DC-AC ratio. If we increase the DC-AC ratio, we can get another recommendation automatically, like this. Now click on Add Storage and increase the storage capacity. Click on Auto Stringing, and then click on Generate. The last step is to generate our energy production report. Click on Summary and Reports. Here you have a summary of the design and an annual energy estimate including self-consumption rate and detailed loss analysis. We also provide a bill of materials with SolarEdge equipment to assist when ordering through your distributor to make sure you get the right parts. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more how-to instructions from SolarEdge.